What are the arguments against the universe as having a cause of its existence? Frankly, there aren't very many arguments against the universe as having a cause of its existence. Perhaps one of the most frequently repeated might be the idea that there is no coherent concept of how such a cause of the universe could be related to the universe. Very often we think of causes as being temporally prior to their effects. First the cause occurs and then the effect occurs. But in the case of the universe, since the beginning of the universe is the beginning of time itself, the cause of the universe cannot be temporally prior to the universe because there is no such moment. Neither could the cause of the universe be later than the beginning of the universe because then it's too late to bring the universe into being. So the objection is the cause of the universe can neither be prior to the universe nor can it be later than the universe and therefore it's simply incoherent to say that there can be a cause of the universe. Well I think this is a terrible objection because it leaves out one obvious alternative, namely that the cause is simultaneous with its effect. In fact, many philosophers think that all causation ultimately involves the simultaneity of the cause with the effect that it produces. If you think that causes are prior to their effects, then there would have to be able to be a gap between the cause and the effect, but then you're faced with all sorts of questions as to what happens during that gap. Uh, why couldn't the effect not occur? What bridges the gap? Uh, what if something were to happen in between the cause and the effect to pre prevent the effect? Ultimately, it seems that the cause has to endure up to the moment at which the effect is produced so that the cause and the effect are simultaneous. In any case, I think we're all familiar with cases of simultaneous causation. The philosopher Immanuel Kant gives the example of a heavy ball resting on a cushion causing a depression in the cushion. Now clearly, the depression in the cushion is caused by the heavy balls resting on it. The ball isn't caused by the concavity in the cushion. And in a case like this, the ball doesn't have to exist prior to its being on the cushion. The ball and the cushion could be uh, in contact with each other for eternity, for all we know. So in this case, there isn't any necessity of the cause being temporally prior to its effect. Similarly, with regard to God's creating the universe, I would say that the event of God's creating the universe is simultaneous with the event of the universe's beginning to exist. In fact, how could it be otherwise? It seems to be obvious, in fact, that the moment at which the universe begins to exist is the moment at which God creates it. These are simply the same events seen from two different perspectives. So I would say that the dilemma that's posed here is a false dilemma that the obvious way out of the dilemma is to say that the cause of the universe is neither temporally prior to nor later than its effect, but rather it's simultaneous with its effect. God's creating the universe is simultaneous with the universe's beginning to exist.